Hello, this is Robin Foss, and welcome to my next artisan tip. Recently, I had a customer express their frustration that when they mirror a page that has a masked photo on it, that the results are not what they want. So this is a quick tutorial on how to handle that. All right, so we're going to start by adding a page design that has a masked photo in it. So I'm going to go to my home ribbon page section template, go from an art kit. So this artistic license, let's see. Yep, that's the one I want to choose. Change template. Okay, so now over here in the pages panel, I'm going to mirror this page, but first let's save. So click the drop down menu, insert a mirror image of this page. The program put that mirrored page before my current page, so I'm going to left click on it and drag it back. Then I'm going to change my view to a two page spread. So view, spreads, two bound pages. And now you can see what's going on and what why she wasn't happy with the results. So to fix this, it's just a few steps and you're ready to go. So start by selecting the masked photo opening. Go up to the quick access toolbar. Click on fill, solid color, and I chose black. And then right click on the element, flatten. Then go up to the Arrange ribbon and flip horizontally. Right click, flatten again. Now we're going to copy this new flipped mask. Then we're going to right click, fill, convert to photo drop point. Then we're going to right click, Effects, Edit. Up here in the frame and effects, we're going to add an effect and so a mask layer. And then right here where this black square is, you click it to get the drop down menu and you do Paste. Then you're going to click OK to accept and then OK to apply. And then Save. And that's it. So one tip is to save this newly adjusted page as a template, and then that way you don't have to go through all these steps the next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.